Coming out as vegan is harder than coming out as gay is what vegan teacher decided to title one of the videos. As soon as I saw this, I was thinking, oh, this is going to piss a lot of people off. <laughs> it's weird because they are literally the complete opposite. Like, coming out as vegan is just saying I don't want to eat meat anymore. But coming out as gay is saying you love the meat, but like, really love the meat. <laughs> nah, but a man coming out saying that I like to suck cock is nowhere near comparable to telling everyone you like to eat trees. Just a quick disclaimer, I've just come back from the dentist, so if it looks like I'm speaking like I've got a speech impediment, it's because I can't feel half my fucking face. <laughs> no? No, I didn't. I didn't get it. Where you got that from? I mean, I did come out as bisexual like years and years ago, like more than 40 years ago. Why is this the first time I've found out this piece of information? Didn't know that. Seems like she's more versatile and who she fks than what she eats. And uh, it's not a big deal. You know, you're basically just telling people whose hand you want to hold and who you want to cuddle up with. I can't believe she eats pussy. <laughs> it's fine. Like, I just didn't expect it coming from a woman that doesn't shut the f up about not eating meat. Turns out that goes out the window in the bedroom. She'll put anything in her f mouth. <laughs> it's not something that you should be congratulating somebody for. I believe that you should congratulate people when they do something good. There we fucking go. I already know where this is going. Say it. Go on. So, for example, when you come out as vegan. There it is. 42 seconds. She just went without bringing up a vegan shite. Might be a record, to be honest. Can we also not wear it as coming out as vegan? Because that's not what it is, is it? Telling people your diet's not coming out as anything, is it? Because that's all vegan, isn't it? It's a diet. Just a very shit, bland diet. That's like me going. Right, everyone, I think it's time to tell you all. I've just been, it's been playing on my mind for years. I eat fry ups for breakfast. <laughs> Fucking hell, wow, that's a big weight off my shoulders. Woo! That's doing something for someone else. For billions of innocent animals who are trapped on factory farms, live a lifetime of hell. You're trying to save their lives. All good people are vegan or striving to be. Really? Because I know a few vegans, only no, I'm not friends of them, obviously, wouldn't lower myself that much. <laughs> and they always seem to be pissed off. And like, I look at them and I'm thinking, you need a kebab. <laughs> it's like an alcoholic when they stop drinking, you know, they go through withdrawals, but the withdrawals from stopping eating meat last a fucking lifetime. Also, notice how she's put gay pride flags in a sentence that's got absolutely nothing to do with gay people. I mean, she kicks off the sentence with a gay pride flag, then follows it up by saying, billions of innocent animals are tortured on factory farms. Another gay pride flag. Animals need our protection. There's another one. That's three now. Coming out as vegan is selfless. It's for others. Like the internet flat is in LGBTQ as it is. Now it's going to be LGBTQV. Fucking hell. That's selfless. That's compassion. When you come out as gay, lesbian, bisexual, you haven't done anything. To be fair, it's true. If that's how everyone else looked at it, it wouldn't matter, would it? But the reason it is a big deal is that's just not how society works, I'm afraid. And surely you know that. We, for some reason, as people, decided a man can't stick his cock in another man. Like, who gives a flying fuck? Like, you're just playing fucking ignorant right now, fully knowing that coming out as gay is not as simple as telling everyone than just moving on. I don't give a fuck if someone's gay, but unfortunately, there is people out there that are just so affected by a man being with another man. And the reason why it's easy for you to sit there and say it's not a big deal is because you're a woman. And we all know that lesbian are looked at in a completely different way. So let's not beat around the bush here. No pun intended. Do you understand the difference? Okay, when somebody comes out as gay, what should you say? You should say, oh, thanks for letting me know. Because they've shared a part of them. Yep, but that's not what happens, is it? People get beat up and sometimes killed for being gay by men that are probably secretly gay. I'm sorry, but if you're a man that lets a gay couple affect your life so much, you're probably fucking gay. You're just projecting a lot of shit. Like, why the fuck does it matter? We're not living in the 1950s anymore. Congratulations? That's not the right word. When somebody comes out as vegan... Then you say the word congratulations. I will never in my fucking life congratulate someone that decides to only eat vegetables. It's not going to happen. If anything, I'd be questioning why the fuck are you doing that? Congratulating someone on becoming vegan. Get fucked. It's not like we have vegan hate crimes, is it? It's ironic that she brings up the Holocaust a lot as well because gay people are one of the groups of people that actually got gas. Do you reckon vegans did? Congratulations on deciding to be on the right side of history. Congratulations on having empathy in your heart and acting in a way that will protect the innocent. Understand the difference? Yeah, they're different, but they're not comparable in the fucking slightest. Like, what are you doing? What are we talking about here? That's like me making a video on racism, saying you shouldn't be racist, then comparing it to a football team I don't support. Both things have nothing to do with each other in any way, shape, or form. Understand the difference? Fuck off. God, with this fucking numbing shit, look, dentist I put in my mouth, I can't even say fuck off about... <laughs> but yeah, fuck off. You come out as gay, 
You're doing that for yourself. When you come out as vegan, you're doing it for others. It is a most wonderful thing because these innocent animals will never be able to thank you. Well, what's the fucking point then? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh yeah, that's made my diet a hundred times worse and I don't even get a thank you for it. Fuck that. Sounds like the most least rewarding thing ever. Like when you come out as gay, I can imagine it's like a big weight lifted off your shoulders, right? Like finally, I've told everyone, everyone knows. But I feel as though it'll be the complete fucking opposite when you decide to become vegan. You'd eat your first meal and be like, what the fuck have I done? Like there's this guy that goes to the gym I go to, because yeah, I go to the gym. You can probably already tell by the sheer fucking size of me. <laughs> but there's this guy that's vegan and he tries to convince me that he actually enjoys the food that he eats. <laughs> and when he's telling me, I can see it in his eyes. I'm looking at him thinking, you're lying to me right now. So Stop lying to me. I can see it in his face. And it turns out his missus is a vegan and she's a fucking psychopath. So he basically has no fucking choice. <laughs> he was saying shit to me like, yeah, she makes these real nice barbecue ribs that taste and feel like barbecue ribs. And I was just thinking, absolute bollocks. And he was saying shit like, because with food, it's all about texture for me and I really miss the texture of meat. And I'm just sat there thinking, mate, just eat fucking meat. It's a moral baseline. It's a moral necessity. And one could even argue it's a moral emergency. One can even argue, yeah, you, you're the only fucking one. I've said this before, but she does realize when she's telling us meat eaters <laughs> to become vegan, it automatically makes us not want to become vegan even more. Right now, there are so many animals suffering and it has been proven by scientists that eating a vegan diet is healthy for you and it is also the best choice for the environment. Oh, don't give me that environmental shite. I'm pretty sure there's worse things out there that are destroying the environment. You know what I mean? I'm sure me eating a double quarter pound of deluxe are the least of the fucking problems. Have you had one of them, by the way? Oh, God, they're so fucking nice. Who knew that all Mackies had to do to make the best burger they've ever fucking made is add a bit of mayo and some salad to the quarter pounder? Uh, I need to stop talking about it because I would just go and fucking get one right now. <laughs> so if you care about the life of the planet, if you care about future generations, you will be vegan. And not just by yourself quietly but out. No, it's the complete opposite, actually. That's what I'm saying. When someone comes out as gay, you're like, oh, fucking hell, congratulations. But when someone comes out as vegan, I'm like, didn't ask. So there's this joke, you know, how do you know that someone's vegan? Don't worry, they'll tell you. <laughs> well, the same joke goes with meat eaters. I mean, they always tell you. They're always showing their signs everywhere. There's McDonald's out there, there is Burger King, all these terrible places that abuse animals. What? No, honestly, this woman needs to be lobotomized or something because something's not fucking quite right up there. Every grocery store that you go into is filled with death. You walk into a grocery store, you're essentially walking into a morgue. Oh yeah, pretty much the same thing. Next time I go to do my weekly shop, I'll make sure to pop to the fucking morgue. You know when someone's telling you something and you're like, yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. I've never felt that way when listening to her bullshit. Just comparing a place where we store dead human bodies to a place where we can get a fucking meal deal from. The future we are looking forward to is where you walk into a grocery store and you see no death. Just a wide variety of veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds. We've already got them up, they're called garden centers. You should go to one, you'll fucking love it there. See, if you want to know if something's vegan, you simply ask yourself, has anything here been stolen? If somebody's leg is there in the grocery store, you know that someone's leg was stolen. What do you mean by stolen? Because you're making it sound like they went up to a cow when it went looking, cut his leg off and ran away. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that next time I buy a chicken drumstick or something. Ask the employee, excuse me, is this chicken leg stolen? Because it doesn't say it on the packet, that's all. If you go into the grocery store and you see milk that's there from a cow, you know that is stolen. Is it good for a cow to get milked. Cows enjoy the milking process, even having a favourite area in the parlour to be milked. Oh, would you look at that? Fucking right. Would you come out if you are gay or lesbian? Sure. Tell everybody who you are. But when somebody does, don't congratulate them. Just simply say, cool, thanks for sharing. But if they come out as vegan, you give them a giant hug and you say to them, I am so proud of you for being brave enough to face this carnistic society that we live in. The way she's telling you how to respond to both things should be swapped. Like I said before, we don't have vegan hate crimes. You won't get beaten up for being vegan. And 
you tell them that you're going to be so happy to go and buy vegan foods with them? No, I don't expect them to come with me to buy my food. So why the fuck should I go with them? Just becoming vegan make you fucking unable to go to the shop by yourself to buy your food now. I can't imagine someone's going to look in your basket, seeing like you've got turf and going to be like, you are fucking disgusting. How dare you fucking shop here? Get out now. All right. So thank you. See you later. Go bet yourself. Nah, you can fuck right off. I'm not listening to her singing again. <laughs> I've listened to a dangerous amount of her singing. It's not singing, is it? Ah, well, that's enough of that. We're approaching 20,000 subscribers, so tell your friends, tell your family, tell your grandparents to subscribe right fucking now, because we're nearly there. If you enjoyed this video, click this playlist here. It's a video of all my other vegan teacher videos. So if you enjoyed this, you'll enjoy them. And yeah, I'm fucking starving, so I'm going to go and pop to the morgue. <laughs> See you later.